from my experience, the relationship, I can call it friendship in United Arab Emirates is a bit different from other countries, in particular from my country. I think uh, why I believe it's now after watching this video I know most of your questions will be answered. Stay tuned, remain with us and watch till the end. This is Christine on Immaculate Show once again. The hashtag is travel with me. It has been so long that is both to myself and to you. So what do you think? Yeah, stay tuned. And by the time we end the video, you'll have gotten your answers. If you're new on this channel, kindly go down and hit the subscription button. And if you're our returning subscriber and our watcher, please, we say accept thank our thank you very much for being with us. Don't forget to share this video wherever you watch. United it. Arab Emirates is the press where you find different countries, different nationalities, people from all over the all over the world and they have the common goal they have the common purpose why they came to united arab emirates what brought them to united arab emirates is to look for money it is looked for they have they have that goal they set and most of the people that come in united arab emirates they they are like i'm going for greener pastures i'm going to look for money i want to accomplish this i want to accomplish the other so you know what next they don't put relationship as the priority when they are coming to united arab emirates but think about it let's have a heart to heart talk do you think in united arab emirates relationship is a scam or you think it's a lie it's a hit run it's a night stand or it's having friends or friendship or a friend with a benefit. What do you think? Let's see. Imagine you came to UAE to look for money. Would you, would you imagine maybe falling in love? Would you imagine getting married in United Arab Emirates? Do you think you can have that BBF, the best friend? That person that you have a heart to heart talk? Relationship. Or relationship, however you are going to call it. By the way, in United Arab Emirates, it's very confusing. You will not know whether it is friendship, you will not know whether it is relationship. I'm sure you should be understanding the difference between relationship and friendship. It's very confusing that it is quite different from our countries. Here it is like a part-time majority because 90% of it is part-time. I'm not saying that there are, not, there are no people who are true friends. They are there. But how long does it take? Hours? It takes, it takes minutes. It takes years for you to really ascertain who is a true friend and who qualifies to be a true friend who qualifies to be a wife who qualifies to be a husband talk less do we really People get, who get married in United Arab Emirates yes they are there but I don't know we are yet to know are these people real yes they are real and others are not real it's by the way a risky venture I can call it it's a risky business <laughs> for you to enter into a relationship for you to fall in love for you to commit your heart or for you to be so attached to somebody and at the same time it's very beautiful we have a win-win Arabic say Mia Mia others say Kamsa Kamsa it's 50-50 relationship in United so, Arab Emirates it's very confusing because most people don't take it serious and the people who have taken it serious have managed to come out 
but we have gotten a lot of heartbreaks we have gotten a lot of uh, regrets in fact a lot of stories about relationship in United Arab Emirates still we can say it is a risk venture and at the same time it is the sweetest moment when we talk about relationship we are not talk about we are not talking about only marriages we are not talking about different sexes we are going to go bit by bit and to make you understand the categories of relationship the categories of friendship that is found in United Arab Emirates how many categories so far if you United Arab Emirates you know we have those people same same sex Christine and Jessica Christine and Lillian they're all ladies like the way we have best friends back home but still by the time you trust that person to be your BFF how long does it take that is a question that is going to be answered in the next topic then we have another category that will be tackled very soon courtship I think courtship most people don't understand it courtship is a it's that friendship or the relationship that leads to marriage or when you're already sure that you're going to get married to each other what takes that in United Arab Emirates it's a bit confusing and very tricky by the way it is a big topic on its own because most people in United Arab Emirates are married back home but when they reach in Dubai reach in Abu Dhabi Sharjah they are singles so keep tuned to that the topic is soon to come and you learn the tricks what people use how long do they take to fall in love or to be in courtship and get married or when do they discover that they are in wrong relationships then there is this relationship in United Arab Emirates of people helping each other what do I mean helping each other <laughs> opposite sex <laughs> this is really travel with me and it is openness opposite sex man and a woman come together they know we are not going to get married but we stay with each other we do things like married people but there is no future this is the relationship in United Arab Emirates then there is another category of relationship in United Arab Emirates that is there and came from home like for the ladies they come purposely for some for some some I'll not touch there so keep tuned to Immaculate Show we'll be giving you all the details what do you think is like the relationship in United Arab Emirates is like and what have you experienced this is a life story from some of us from our friends from our families and from our associates our workmates and everybody that is close to us I know most of you you're so much bothered about the relationship and friendship in United Arab Emirates but here is the source stay tuned and we'll let you know if you want if you happen to come to United Arab Emirates there are some things you will know, need to know about friendship and relationship in UAE. Thank you for being an Immaculate Show. Thank you for being our supporter. Thank you for giving us morale. Keep tuned to the next part. It will be wow and it will be cut bit by bit. This is Christine on Immaculate Show. The hashtag is travel with me. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly go down and hit the subscription button and also